Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm going to show you how to swap a Bugaboo Donkey seat to a Bugaboo Donkey bassinet. So each time on a Bugaboo, you use the seat fabric and the bassinet fabric to swap out. So right now we have two seats. I'm going to swap the seat that is on the left, this one over here, to the bassinet. Start by putting the brake on so that it's nice and easy for me to show you. Sometimes it's easier just to do it with uh, the seat off the frame. Sometimes it's easier to do it when there is only one seat on the frame. So I'm just going to lie this one down to make it a little bit easier for me to get to the hood. So first we're going to take the hood off, slide that uh, the hood clamp back. And the same on this side. Sometimes it's a little tricky if you have two of the seats on, but it is possible. So we take this off, we're going to use this in a second. Then we're going to come down to the bottom of the seat. So I'm just going to sit it up for a minute. And there is three pieces of velcro. One here, one in the middle, and one on the side. Don't worry about the bugaboo organizer that is just here because I use it when I have the bassinet on that we're about to put on. So we take our three pieces of Velcro off and then under here we have one clip. So we unclip that. Oops, I forgot to take the belly bar off. So press the belly bar either side, the buttons are on the inside and just remove that. You don't, it's not necessary to take it off but it does make it a lot easier. I'm just going to grab the harness that's already done up and slide it off the top of the seat. Now I might give you a better angle of this. Yeah, I've turned it completely around. I'm going to, like I said, grab the harness or just even the bottom crotch strap is good and just make sure that I remove the... Make sure that I take the white lever at the back of this little hole, otherwise it would get stuck or we could possibly snap it off and we're just going to slide the seat fabric up. There it is, there's our whole seat fabric taken off, ready to go in the wash. If you wanted to wash it, you can undo these straps. Slide it forward, take the bum board out and chuck the whole fabric in the wash. I do have a video on how to wash the Bungaboo Donkey if you want to see that, including the bassinets as well. Okay, we're done with the seat fabric. Now we have the bassinet fabric. This is what the bassinet fabric is. It has a mattress in here and it also has a wooden board for stabilization in the bottom. There are also two little plastic pieces that go in the top and one little plastic piece that go in the bottom. Now that stabilizes the bassinet. To know the top and the bottom of the bassinet, you can tell the top for a few reasons. One, it has two of the plastic things up here. Two, the bassinet curves in and out and it's actually bigger at the top here. Three, there is a zipper at the bottom where the apron zips on. So we're gonna put the top where the white recline button is because the seat frame actually has the same shape as the bum board in it. And we're just gonna slide it down and sit it in place. Now we start velcroing. So the only way to attach it is just to velcro the whole thing in place. So it's quite an easy thing to do. It's just a little bit timely. Alright, I've velcroed all of them except these two here. Now that's for a reason. They have their own special spot. There's actually a mark on the frame and we want them to sit in there so that it lines up <laughs> and works how we want it. So 
we are going to put the um, I don't know the spiky side of the Velcro down first, and then it's going to have the soft side, and on the other side of the soft side will be another soft side, and that is for the apron to stick on. So make sure that they're in the right spots. Sometimes you'll need to go around and adjust them, make sure they're sitting right. If you want to pull it a little bit tighter in certain areas, if you you know, didn't like how it was sitting there, you can pull them tight and adjust them. So there is our bassinet fabric in position, in place. And we're going to add our hood back on. So our hood adds on really easily. If you haven't taken the hood rods off, they should still be connected. Whenever you take the hood rods and hood clamps off, when you put the clamps back on, the clamp part that goes onto the frame always faces the floor and it always goes on the part of the hood that has the hard piece in it or the recline hole strap in the back. So we're going to put that in the allocated spot here. So I like to push the, I like to put the top one over and then with my palm push the bottom of it. And then we're going to just lift the hood over and make sure that all of the hood rods are in place. And there is our hood. Don't forget to pull the lever out. It doesn't really matter um, because it's a bassinet and you shouldn't really move it, but I just like to put it out. I feel like it just makes it look right. And it also holds the hood in place. Last thing, we will add our belly bar. It's up to you if you use your belly bar on the bassinet or not. I really like to because it's such a good handle to remove the seats. So you can just press both of the buttons and then lift up. I feel without the belly bar that it's very awkward, like you have to, I don't know, carry it. So here is an overview of the seat and the bassinet. I hope that this video helped you. Like I said before, if you want to see how to wash it, I have a video on that. If you want to see a review, seat combinations or any of those other videos, I do have them on my channel. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video.